Hello, View Candy here, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. And we are back in Uridan. So last time out, we built this little historic harbour. I want to say historic harbour. It feels quite European anyway. This little stone harbour wall going down to the ferry terminal here. Quite pleased with how it turned out. And you'll notice as well that there were quite a few comments about the path and the fact it didn't line up with the edges of the keys. So the reason why I didn't do that is because it pushes up the ground here and I wasn't really sure I liked how it ended up looking. So I just left it as a bit of silly path so they could walk across and yeah, totally accept that it didn't look as good as it possibly could. But I have fixed that now and it does mean that the terrain is a little bit all over the place up here at the front. However, I've put in some rocks and tried to cover it up and make it look like a little bit of a rock feature. I'm still not 100% convinced, but hey, look, it does look better there, granted. So yeah, we put in this waterfront. We also started to build up a few little layers of height along the waterfront here, decorated out with rocks, put in these townhouses um, and added in our tram network as well. So it's nice to see that it is sort of slowly building up now. We also tidied up this whole residential area. So this whole district is now pretty much done. So today we will be moving on to an oil area. We've got really significant demand for jobs. So the focus is going to be on that. So we are going to be working over here in this section where we've got oil already as the natural resource here. So that comes with the map. I have just trimmed it back. It did extend a little bit into this residential neighborhood, but I have just trimmed that back a tiny bit. So first things first, let's dive right in. We're going to plan out our road network. So the main access will be from the highway here, which makes sense for industrial traffic to have direct access onto this highway so we'll be bringing this road out and round and I think I'm going to take it off in this direction but we'll have a roundabout here so we've got a split off that way so I'm not entirely sure what's going to come out in these outer areas so I just want to make sure we've got road networks set up for each direction possible so that'll be the plan there. We'll also bring this road in round loop up to meet it so that we've got access for these residents directly without having to go through this roundabout and then this road is going to follow on round this direction so it's going to almost go around the coast a little bit we're going to do a small residential district in here if we get any need for housing today but the main focus will be on building this industrial area so i'm just going to bring this out a little bit further like so and then bend it round around about something like that bring it back out straight for a while yeah, that looks okay. So that main road is going to head off in that direction. And then what we'll do here is we'll form a crossroads and have a road that's going to come out that way. So again, just planning for later builds. And as I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, we will be bringing this rail line down and into a rail yard here for this industry. So they've got access from the industrial area here and also from the oil area. So I will just take an industrial four lane road, which is going to come out into the oil area. We'll just bring it out straight like that for now. And we'll go ahead and put in our roundabout using the roundabout builder mod. So I think I think a radius of 40 will be absolutely fine with that. We'll use the three lane roads so that we've got three lanes because we've got two lanes coming in on each direction. So for me, it makes sense to have three lanes round the roundabout. And then we'll also set it up using traffic manager and then use no controller as before. And I always do this to an offset of 20 meters just to give them that smoother turn round the, the corners of the roundabout and helps to keep the traffic moving actually better when you've got those smoother corners. If there's a super tight corner. They do actually slow down even in the game. So now with this road, we'll bring the tram line up a little bit further. Um, so we'll just bring this straight up slightly further and then I would just like to bend it actually slightly inwards and back round just so it has a little bit of interest to it a little bit of flow and then keep it going probably following round the coast that way so now with this road I'm going to use the two-way one lane highway just to bring this in and round like so as a kind of back route for those residents a quick route to get them onto this main road to avoid that busy roundabout junction off the highway now what i will do before i forget is set up our district so what we are going to use is we are going to use the industries dlc for this so we're going to paint a proper industrial area 
and we're going to make it pretty big like covering this whole area it's not going to be that big in total particularly the actual oil assets because they're actually relatively small compared to the other industries within the dlc and then we will also put in a normal district here so that we can put the oil specialization on it because i do want to use some of the zoned oil industrial buildings because actually some of them are pretty good and they help when it comes to the detailing of the oil area i find as well so now as an entrance because it's an oil park i feel like it should be pretty secure so i am going to use the toll roads as a kind of security entrance here what i will do though is just bring this road round further so we're going to just angle it slightly this way and then put the toll booth coming in off that and what i will do here as well is just clear out these trees for the time being uh, so that they're not sitting under our buildings or anything like that so we'll just clear them out of that whole area and we'll put some back in for sure later on but now before we get into the security entrance i do want to just bring off a little area a sort of almost like a bit of a waiting area i suppose or something similar to that but we're also going to put the oil barracks around here when we unlock it so just setting ourselves up, preparing for that. And we'll definitely have quite a large car park in here using parking lot roads, as always. Um, and then just using Move It to align that nicely within the centre of this area, like so. Now in here is a bit of an entranceway. What I am going to use as well is the road maintenance depot, because I think it looks quite good here, actually. So when we have a look at it, it's got kind of a bit of stature to it. It looks like an administration building or something potentially for this oil area. Um, so yeah, I just like how that looks next to the toll booths there. So now what we'll do is continue the main road in and round. So we'll take the four lane industrial road again, just bring it out a very small straight bit and then we're gonna swing it right in this way like so and bring that out straight for a couple of blocks and then so for the main building what i'm going to do is bring it actually straight off right after the toll booth entrance there bring a road down like so and then we are going to plop in the main building so that we unlock all of the other assets so i will put that there and there we go we've got some more assets and then i will bring a road up actually immediately next to it so that kind of frames the main entrance and then behind it i will put in a big car park but we'll put that in later when i know exactly what assets are going to go in there so in terms of the first assets that we have unlocked with the oil area we get the small oil pump uh, we've also got the oil sludge pyrolysis plant and then some small crude oil tanks as well i love these tanks they're actually some of my favorite assets in the whole game i think they look really really good for any kind of industrial build to be honest so firstly i want to concentrate on the oil fields so we're going to bring a industrial road out just a tiny bit and then what we're going to do is turn it into actually this mud rural road so you could just use a gravel road for this but i really like how this road looks on this oil texture within this theme i just think it looks very natural um so yeah really really like that and that's this is the kind of vibe that i want to go for for this particular area with our natural resources as well we've got a really really dark deep oil well here so we can fully take advantage of it across this particular area so i am going to just bring off a couple of spits here where we can start to introduce some of the oil pumps so there's a couple of assets i'd really like to use in here now actually one of them is just the zoned industry oil asset which is this one here which i actually again think looks pretty good it's not a bad looking asset at all when you see it by yourself when you see it just zoned into a whole area i'll go back to my generic industry episode it looks terrible when it's up alongside some of the other buildings but when it's like a feature thing like that it's quite a nice looking asset yeah i like that so what i'm going to bring in up on this road is some of the actual small oil pumps from the dlc so just three of them i think in a row like that looks absolutely fine and then what i'd like to do to detail up this area is do a few different plots of kind of a sort of workers yard is the only way that i can really think to describe it 
So what we'll do is bring up a little bit of this road into an area like so. We're going to use surface painter here just on the gravel and draw out a fairly large area that we can use as a kind of a yard essentially uh, for this particular oil pump. And then what we'll do is add in some oil fence around it so that we've got a fenced off area essentially for these workers to work in. And there's some really cool assets that we can put in here to look like workshops. So if we come in to find it in sheds, there's this, it's just, it's a residential prop, in fact, just a shed, um, but it kind of looks pretty cool. It looks like a little kind of mobile office type thing. So we're just going to put in one by the entrance here. And then I think what we will do is do a couple more of these to make them look like office buildings over here, like so. Now there's a few more of the oil assets that we can bring into here as well. So these tanks in particular, I think look pretty good in here. So I'm just gonna put in a few of those and then we'll use Move It to arrange them nicely. So I'm gonna arrange them into a bit of a yard up the back here and put them in a format where it looks like they're purposefully arranged in that way, I suppose you could say. And then we're gonna use a little bit more fence, but some of the prop fences, the chain link fence, to come in and fence off this particular area within this worker's yard, just like so. And we will also bring power down here so that we can start to get some workers out here. So again, just as a temporary measure, I'm just gonna bring this straight across and join it there so that we're all hooked up. Now, as well as the oil, zoned oil industry assets, there's a couple of the smaller industry assets that I'd like to use here as well. So particularly this one, which, you know, in an ordinary industry area looks pretty terrible, but here again, looks like it could be a little worker's office or something of that type. So really, really like how that looks. And then there's also these tanks as well, which again, could really help decorate up uh, an oil area. So we'll just place those in and use Move It as always to bring them into a place where they look they look like they're meant to be there there's also a slightly different one in this one which i will use as well just to add a little bit of variation to that particular corner and then what i'm thinking is i'm going to put one more large drill in here which is the slightly different asset this one to the one that we've used across the road so we'll just bring this in and put this in this area like that and then what we will do is use a whole bunch of props to decorate this up. So I do have some, uh, I do have an industrial prop rack, which I quite like, which has things like this in it. So I am just going to put that down. I don't know how useful that is necessarily on an oil digging site, uh, but it looks pretty cool. And we've got lots of these tanks, which I definitely want to use lots and lots of tanks for an oil area. So we're going to be utilising those all over the place. But the main type of things that we want to use is putting crates, lots of those industrial type props. So there we go. I have just used a few of the decals for the dirt road as well to rough up the texture of the gravel, which I think helps to make it look a little bit more used, industrial in that sense. What I'm gonna do out here is essentially do a few different areas like that, just little pockets where they're drilling the oil essentially, make it, make it look like that type of thing. There's a few different types of oil fields where you've got the mass fields where there's just loads of these pumps all in a row all up a hillside or you know wrap just lined up against the road or there's other areas that i've seen where they've got pockets focused of uh drilling kind of similar to this so that's the type of vibe that i'm going for with this particular build 
So now that we've got a couple of pumps in, I also want to make sure that we're getting storage for it and also the processing so that we could start to level up our industry area. So now for the oil storage, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll bring it off a side road here and then we'll have a few of those tanks put in because they actually look really good when they're up close together. I think just two will do for now but what I will do is just move them slightly closer to this road so we get rid of that forecourt area on them and also what we can do is here actually is use multi-network tool to unlock these fences so these two fences here that one and this one and we'll also just unlock this front one here as well and then what and what that means is that we can then just delete those particular fences so that we can move it up close together and make it look like one unit without having that fence dividing them up the middle. And then to finish off the front as well, we can just come in with a bit more oil fence here. So there we go. So that just helps to make it look like one storage unit rather than two with the fence down the middle. So that's a really useful trick with multi-network tool to just get rid of any unwanted fences there. Okay, so now the other thing we need is processing. So at the moment, we've only got this one, which is a really tiny one. So I'm just going to plop it in here for now, but we're going to move that because it actually joins really nicely to the next one, the petrochemical plant, when we unlock that. So we'll be putting those together and trying to make them again look like one unit rather than two separate things. But we'll wait until we've got to a point where we've unlocked that. So now in terms of workers, we're fine. We've got 139 workers. We only need 75. We just need to start producing oil. So I'm going to whack it back up. Oh, we were on 50% speed, so that's going to help. I'm going to whack it back up to full speed and try and get this leveled up. But what I will do in the meantime is help workers to actually get here. So let's think about extending this tram route out. Now over here, I would like a back entrance as well. So I think what I'm going to do is introduce a new entrance way off here. So we'll just bring that out with a slight curve round like so. And then because we are in the oil area and we've got the security on the other entrance, it would make sense to add another toll booth in here. So for the tram line, we can't have it obviously going through the toll booth. So what I'm gonna do is have a spit coming off here a turn off just for the tram line so we've got just the dedicated tram road that we're using here and then what we'll do is try to bring it up almost alongside this toll booth here so here what we will have is a fairly decent tram turnaround so that people can get on and off we'll just make a rectangular unit like so there we go. And then what I will do is extend the tram line down to here. So we'll get a stop in here so that people can get on and off. And then, of course, we do need path connections as well, because this is completely unattached from the actual oil area. So they'd have to walk all the way back to the road. In fact, they can't even walk there. So it would be completely, completely redundant based on how it is right now. So we'll just bring in a couple of paths like so. And likewise, down here as well, we will just add pedestrian access by doing a path down the side of this building. And I'm going to come in and detail this up and have a security gate there for the pedestrians as well, because uh, I think that would definitely, and same with this side, I think that would definitely be the case in an area like this. Now, just thinking about a couple of other assets for down here, if we have a look at what's available in the oil, in the generic oil packs, there's a couple of these that we can use together that don't look too bad. Some of them are like pretty hideous, to be honest, and it's very hard to make them look good and fit together with some of the other, other assets. But these, I think we can use two of these, like so, and then also introduce this one. But in terms of the orientation, what I really want to do is get this back to back with these two and really up as close as we can possibly get it so that that scaffolding is almost going across. You see the sort of scaffolding that goes around this is almost going across both buildings like that. Now, it does look a little bit repetitive there, but I'm kind of OK with it. And I think if we move it slightly closer up together, it will merge it in. And what I might do is just get rid of this and try and get in one of the same colour as the other one. There we go. So that it matches a little bit better. So what we will do here, because this road is curved, it's a slightly awkward place for these. So just thinking of the placement of them, I'm actually going to move these all together over here. 
and again just looking at the orientation of it i really want this side of this building up against this road where it's got the sign there i think that looks better than having this side we have got the sign there but i feel like this one looks more like you've got the door there that looks like the sort of front office for this particular building so i think that's the best orientation for up against this road and while i'm thinking about it here as well we'll turn off these traffic lights don't want those in there um, and we have actually even got them either side of this toll booth so we definitely don't want those there so taking that off and we will of course do dedicated turning lanes as well to help with that traffic flow around here so now here, in terms of this road as well, I don't really like how these pedestrian crossings look. So I'm going to turn them off and say that if people want to cross, they can do it up there or down here. And then I am going to use some of the decals to try and blend in this road a little bit more. Because at the moment, it's pretty rough when it looks like this. So we're just going to use some of these to try and get rid of that sudden change to black in the texture there. That just looks, frankly, really weird and odd. Oh, and we've got to level two. So we have got the petrochemical plant, which I'm going to put in now. We've also got the small oil drilling rig and the household plastic factory, which I'm definitely going to come on to in a second as well. But first things first, while we're just focusing on this little corner, I will introduce the petrochemical plant. So I'm actually going to put that on this corner like so and move this one over. So what I will do here is I think these fit together quite well. So this one is a kind of extension of this particular area. And what we can do here again is just bring in a introduce a little one unit road like so we'll use move it to move this node over so that we get it nicely up against the edge there and nicely straight that gives road access to this particular plant now for this area here again what we can do is use some of the zoned oil i like these tanks so what we will do is put in a couple more of those and i'm just going to use move it again to make sure that they're lined up nice and straight because i think that just looks uh, an awful lot better and again we'll use some fence to decorate this up so just the standard oil fence just to come in and give this a bit more of a closed off secure area feel and of course we can use more props in here as well just to add a couple of extra decals to it so again i think it's just some crates um, and some barrels would be absolutely fine in here bog standard props just a little bit of something extra see i like how these two fit together and they look pretty good on the corner like that as well i find so happy with how that looks so i think that is okay for that particular area so i'm just checking workers so we're okay on workers but we could do with a few more so what i would like to do is come back over to this particular area and have a look at the barracks i think they look pretty good in a little compound like this and we can introduce some paths and things like that to decorate this up and then actually what I would like to do for these workers is give them a park, but I'm actually going to do it off this road here. So I'm just going to bring this round. Actually, in fact, we'll bring it straight up like that and then we will just curve it round very slightly so that we've got some variation in that road. I don't like lots of super, super straight roads, especially because this area is going to be more rural. This is kind of the outer suburb of our main city, which will be situated over here. So we definitely don't want lots of straight, straight roads out in this particular area. So for the park, I'm just going to use the bog standard small park because the good thing about this one is that you can connect paths really easily into it. So I'll just use a plain gravel path just to connect this up to the edge of the workers barracks there so they have direct access to this park. And then just to finish off this little area, what I would like to do is do some kind of commercial buildings for the the workers so something some kind of eatery entertainment type thing for them i think i'm just going to use the vanilla one here because we definitely want a gas station for those trucks and and oil tankers and things like that coming through this particular area so that'll do for that corner there we'll then introduce just a couple of shops there is a cafe in the university content creative pack yeah this one which I quite like to introduce here as well. We'll just leave space for a path running down there. So let's actually go ahead and put that in. I will use the nature reserve. Let's snap to grid only. We'll use the nature reserve path with decoration so that there is some light there. I'm actually thinking what I might do is turn it around so that it's actually facing that path. 
Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And then finally, I think we'll just have a couple more shops along here. So yeah, I like this one again with the benches out the front. I feel like this is a kind of communal space. And then of course, a little wine and liquor store before they head back to their barracks for the day, they can stock up. I'm just trying to think of the orientation, if we can make that almost like a joined up shop front at the front. If we just go into first person camera, we can have a look a little, little better at that because the windows aren't too dissimilar off those two buildings. Yeah, I don't mind that up close. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, but that looks all right from, from the front point of view. So I think that will do for this area. And again, in the detailing time lapse later on, we'll come, come around with a load of fencing and detail this up. And we definitely want some trees around this area as well. So yeah, just a little bit of protection there. In fact, I think we'll keep that bit open so that it's got that. You can see that administration building as you drive in, I think would be quite a nice shot there. So yeah, that will do for the worker barracks. We do now have residential demand as well. So just before I go ahead and put in any more factories or anything like that, we've got yeah, loads and loads of workers needed here. What I am going to do is start a very small residential neighborhood over here. Now the other thing we need to introduce into here is another elementary school because we're quite low on capacity. So I'm going to use the community school for this and I'm actually going to do it over this side up into this park area. So we'll just bring in a small bit of road and then as always we need some parking in here so I will just bring in a parking lot road like so. And then what we're going to do is get in our community school and so we're going to move this over to where the parking lot is. And what I want actually is that entrance on this corner because I like the way that pavement comes out, the main entrance onto the edge of the car park. So the car parking is kind of beyond that. And what I'd like to do here as well with this hedge is follow this on. So we're going to just get the vanilla hedge up uh, like so and just give a little bit of extra protection here just to finish off the front, but particularly because there <laughs> appears to be a playground in there as well. So that doesn't make a huge amount of sense. And then looking at the back of the asset, if we just clear out some of these trees, it's all very open at the back. So what I would like to do is extend it round all the way down this side. So again, I'm going to use just a little bit of hedging to extend the playground, very similar to what we did in the last area, but it'll have a slightly different look and feel about it, this one. But we'll bring it round down the side and down the front here. So I'll go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, just added in a few props, the traditional playground props, got some swings, a climbing frame, a little playhouse from the uh, residential prop packs as well there. I have added in a basketball court as well, which I think fitted in quite nicely down that side. And I've actually also used parking lots, just the vanilla parking lots. When I was little, at least in my elementary school, we definitely had like a hopscotch or if this could be tic-tac-toe, for example, on the playground. So I was just trying to do something like that using the parking lot markings. 
So yeah, that's what we came up with anyway. And a few benches, obviously for good measure. So we have now got a much larger looking elementary school here. Now coming back to our oil area. So while I was doing the elementary school, we did reach level three as well, which gives us the, to the toy factory, some more storage options and another oil drilling rig. So yeah, a few things to play with. We're actually all right for the work account at the moment. What I would like to do now though, is add in the household plastics factory. So our first factory into Oradon. So this needs petroleum and plastic, which is what we're producing already from the oil area. So I'm going to place this in here. Now, what I would like to do is have a massive car park in front of it because we, we obviously need car parking down here. We've only got this one at the moment, so we need to extend that and have a bit more in. So I will take the two unit industrial road. I'm thinking it's going to come off around about here. We'll just bring that straight back up for now. And then what I'd like to do is get the largest car park we can and extend that out here from parking up roads. So we'll just use move it as well to bring that right up to the back of here like that. And then I will take a one unit industrial road and run this along this side and then put in the factory behind it. So here. Now, one thing I do want to do with this as well is I want to play around with the, the spawn points and the roads. So here we've got this tiny little bit of fence here. So I'm going to go ahead and use multi-network tool again to unlock this particular segment, this bit of fence, like so. And then what we can do is delete that. And then what I would like to do is bring in one of these one unit roads right into the factory like so. And in fact, what I will do as well is just get rid of that trash bin that is there. Yeah, that's the one. Turn that probability down to zero and now it's gone. And then for spawn points as well, what I want is to make sure that the, the trucks are driving in and using this particular road. So if we click click on the spawn point mods and go to here, we can see that the, the point is there. So all the trucks are gonna drive to this particular area, but I want them to go into there. So what we are going to do is move it. So I'm gonna move it up this way to about there, and then we'll move it all the way back to right outside these units here. In fact, let's just just that tiny bit. We can go into this unit here and we'll have it sitting right there. So all of the trucks are gonna come in from that point. So that'll be fine for now, just so we get people using that road. And then when it comes to detailing, I will come through and get rid of the tearing here, introduce a lot of fence, that sort of thing. Again, we'll use the oil fence. That's gonna be the common theme for this particular area. I, I'm gonna ramp this right up just because I think we'll be all right for the moment. And we are going to get in some more extractors and processing buildings as well. So what I do want to do though is introduce some more storage. So I am just going to bring this road out straight here. And what we will do is just destroy this connection for the moment. We'll bring this road out, turn snapping on, bring that straight out like so. We'll bring that up to join. So at the last level, we did unlock these oil storage facilities, which I really, really like this asset. I actually think it looks really good. But again, what we want to do here is our little trick for this particular episode is using network multi-tool to unlock these segments. So we'll unlock these fences here, get rid of these. And then what we can do is move these up. Now these props do overlap a little bit, which is one thing, but you'll see in a second, it kind of ends up looking okay because it looks like they're just in each other's facilities. So yeah, if I go into first person camera, I'll just come down like that. It just looks like we've got props in the opposite storage container. So I'm actually fine with how that looks. And then it looks like it's one big long building as opposed to two just next to each other. And now up here, I'm going to bring out a gravel road like so. And what I want to do is introduce some warehouses here. So I'm going to just use the standard vanilla ones. I have these lovely warehouses by Avanya as well and a couple of other things, but I am going to use the vanilla warehouses for this. So there we go. So now what I do want to do in here as well is there's one asset which is incredibly random, but I need to just go to policies and say only electricity for heat so that we don't get any people wanting heat. They shouldn't want heat. We're in 21 degrees, but as soon as you plop it in, they do. But this particular asset, the geothermal heating power plant, now I know that's like a super random thing to be putting in here. So to me, because of all the pipes in it, I think it works really, really well. 
in an oil area. So I am gonna go ahead and use it in this particular instance. And again, we're gonna come through and decorate this up so that it doesn't look like such a crazy edge there. But I do just like how it looks here. Now I'm going to come through and just create a few more areas like this for oil extraction because we do have some of the larger rigs now, some of these, so I'd like to create another area that's got a few of those as the centre point to it. Okay, so just as I was about to finish up on the detailing, we have reached level four. So we've got the maintenance building, which I definitely want to get in. Large crude oil tank farms, great. Petroleum for refinery, we also need one of the other industries. I'm pretty sure it's ore um, in order to do that, to get metals. So that won't be coming in this build. Um, but there's a couple of other things. The large oil drilling rig, I definitely want to get in. And I literally just want one of these, I think, right here. Um, and I'm actually just going to move it over and put it right at the end of the road like so. And what we are going to do as well is put in this waste oil refining plant alongside it. So I'm just going to tuck that in right up next to it so it looks like it's part of the same unit here. We will bring the road out and round across like that. And we also definitely want to get rid of that texture and change it up to gravel. So we'll use surface painter for that to get rid of that. There's some decals in there again, which we can get rid of with Bob, just because they don't look exactly the kind of look and feel that we want for here. So we can put in our own if necessary. I don't mind just the one over there, that's fine, but the others were a bit too much. So yeah, we add that in there. And what I actually am going to do is add in a second one as well over here. So these are the ones that produce more petroleum than the first ones that we had the smaller ones um so they're really good if we can get the raw product straight to these then that's a good thing to be doing i'm going to just move this up right alongside this side so we have got a little stairs down there and what i want to try and do is get that almost down into this particular area so if we move it up like so i think that will work have to just move that slightly further out so it's at a different angle to that but that's okay but yeah i think that's all right and what we can do then again is fence all around that and tidy that all up so yeah just to come back over to this section quickly so i have put in a reasonable amount of detailing here um so we've got some little offices and some benches so the workers can sit there and have their lunch snack whatever it might be we have got three big oil drills and then just lots of decoration so these are generic industry buildings that that shed there those oils oil tankers this tanker here as well we've got in a few more smaller drilling rigs as well um, and then just a whole load of props so now coming back to over here i have just plopped in another a crude oil storage cavern because i think that looks pretty good up against the heating plant here as well it's got a similar style of the pipes to it which I quite like, so I've plopped that in. And we just need to do a little bit more detailing around these particular areas, which we'll go through in a second. So there's lots of gaps to fill here. So now just having a look at the household plastic factory and what's going on with the storage, we've got absolutely tons of petroleum, but not very much plastic. And we have only got one plastic unit in, whereas we have now got three petroleums. So I'm thinking what I'd like to do is in this space here, just introduce a, another plastic 
processing facility so this one so until we get to level five and we get the cracker plant this is all we've got for plastics now this is not i i totally recognize that this is not the most efficient way to lay out your industry by the way having these right next to here and the storage all over here it's all a bit jumbled up but i'm trying to make this look like it's oil fields and then all of the processing works and the facilities out here so that's the type of look that we're going for. And I have just seen that we've got bin problems. So the other thing that I wanted to bring in over here was a recycling center, which I think fits in quite nicely with the warehouses as well, with the right white roofs. It's got a similar look and feel about it to them. So I think that fits into this space reasonably well. So we'll include that there and hopefully that'll help with the bin issues that we've been having. Now I am just gonna leave it running for a minute to see if we can get up to level five. Okay, we have finally made it to level five. That took a insanely long time. And as you can see from my money at the bottom of the screen, we've been raking it in. But no, it really did take a long time. I've had to put in an additional residential expansion into our European suburbia area. So there's gonna be a lot of work to do on that in a future episode to tidy that all up and do the detailing there. And we also need more commercial now as well. But we have made level five while we were just waiting to level up I did put in some extra storage over here and added in a few industrial buildings that you can see here just to fill in some of those blank spaces now this building is particularly big and actually I am thinking it's probably going to go out here by these storage containers so if we extend this one unit road down and actually it'll be quite a dramatic entrance I suppose to come into as well because it's relatively tall so you should be able to see it from the main road if we have one in here like so let's just have a look at it so it's got the tanks as well which go quite nicely next to these storage units I've just spotted that power line let's uh <laughs> let's get rid of that one but what I am thinking is actually to have two of these in back to back because we want to get as much production out of this as we possibly can so let's just have a little look at how that looks from the road as you come in so you have got like lots of big chimney stacks i quite like it behind the trees like this you can see the oil drilling rigs in the background as well and then you come up to the main entrance and you've got it all there on your left hand side i don't mind that i don't mind that and like i said in terms of logistics this is absolutely not the most efficient layout so don't go on this <laughs> layout in terms of logistic logistics I just like the whole spread out, not uniform, straight grids. I don't think everything is perfectly straight all the time in real life. So that's how I like to design things. And we can come in and detail all those gaps and make it look consistent. So now that we've got those in, we have got all of the buildings that I wanted to get in. So I think that will do in terms of the main buildings in this particular area. We've got to level five, we've got everything in we need, we've got enough processing, enough raw materials to keep us going. And actually, probably this will be the only oil field that we'd need in the whole city. So for now, that will do. And what I will do now is jump into a detailing time lapse and tidy up some of these areas. So we'll come through and, and get rid of a lot of this green in the middle of the factory area. We'll keep the trees and things around it because, you know, when we look at the whole map, that's definitely the vibe that we're going for here. It is leafy green. You've just got an oil, oil field in the middle of it. So um, there will still be a lot of trees surrounding it. And we've put in these bushes here around the oil fields I think that's better than having any high trees so we'll do a little bit more detailing on that so yeah as you can see here's my extension on this village so it's quite substantial and we need to come through and detail all of that on a later episode and we've left a little bit of room for a small local high street here as well next to our community school so I'll jump into the detailing and I'll be right back
Okay, so I think that will do on the detailing front. So we have fenced in the entire area, so it is a secure compound now. We've added in little security gates on the pedestrian entrances, so one there, uh, another one here coming through from the barracks, and also security entrances by the tram. I've extended out this storage cavern here, added in another industrial unit, just one of the generic ones, just looks like a little warehouse, I think, which went quite well with that. We've added in this whole area full of props, essentially a storage area, lots more of the ruined decals on the road just to blend that all in and make it look like a well-worn, well-used area. We have gone round and extended the trees around it so we've got the foliage sorted and I have left this whole oil field area as very much open, just a few low bushes but completely open so you could kind of imagine that further down the road they'd have additional development, move some of the oil drills to a new location within the field, that sort of thing. I did also reorganise these two cracker plants as well because when I was going through in the detailing I realised these two central buildings here go really nicely together. So actually in this formation it makes it look again more like one unit rather than just having two back to back or opposite each other. So I'm quite pleased with um, how that has turned out and I've just the vehicle spawn point for this one back to this road so that yeah we shouldn't really see any trucks going around there but I've added that as a bit of a back road. Oh, and we've reached big town, population of 7,500. Okay, so with that, we do get things like intercity bus. We've also got metro now, which is quite exciting, and a trade school campus area. We're definitely not coming onto the trade school just yet, but it won't be too far off, because I do like to get that in, so we've got the higher education. We can look at more things like offices and that sort of thing. We obviously have high density, even though we have slightly cheated on the previous episode and plopped some uh, high density residential in already. But yeah, look, that's good. That gives us lots of opportunity for the next episode. And we've also got demand for everything as well. So we've kind of got a free choice of what we do. We do also, we've got pro product problems. So we're going to need some commercial. I'm definitely going to come in. This area needs a lot of detailing up. We're going to come in and do a nice little rural high street here by, our, by the elementary school that we did this time. So I think for today that will be it. But thank you so much for tuning in again. And thank you so much for all of the support I've had over the last two weeks since I've started this YouTube journey. It's been absolutely overwhelming. So just I really hugely appreciate it. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to give it a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see the next episode. Really, any support that you give me will really, really help me out in these early stages. So thank you all so much and hopefully see you again on the next one. That's it for now. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.